Hello everybody, my name is Miss Hillary and I'm so happy to be here today with you. So today I thought it might be fun to talk about syllables. Has anybody heard that word before? Syllable, syllable. Let's clap it together. Syllable, syllable, syllable. Good job. So syllables are parts of words. Mm. So for example, if I had an orange, ooh, orange is a word for this, orange, and also the color orange, pretty cool. Now orange has two parts to it. Orange. Let's say that together. Orange. Orange. That has a nice rhythm. Let's move to it together. Orange. 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 So orange has two parts or two syllables. Pretty cool, huh? Good work, everybody. So we can find syllables or parts of words in lots of different things. Let's try your name now next. I want you to say your name and you can either jump the different parts or you can clap the different parts of your name. Ready? I'm gonna say my name again. Here we go. Did you clap or jump while you said your name? Let's try it with mine. Hillary. Hillary. Three times. So that means there are three parts or three syllables in my name. How many parts or syllables are in your name? Cool. Okay, now I have a special friend named Leonard and he really wants to help you with some syllables too. So he's going to tell you a word and I want you to clap or jump the parts of the word. Okay, are you ready? Have fun. Hello everyone, my name is Leonard. Okay, here is your first word. Balloon. Sandwich. Computer. Cracker. everybody. Did everyone have fun with Leonard? He's a pretty silly little guy, isn't he? All right, now I have a question for you. Do you know the song, Old MacDonald Had a Farm? I hope you do, because I want to sing it with you. But we are going to stop every time there's a new animal, and we are going to make sure that we clap that animal's name. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a kitten, E-I-E-I-O. All right, let's clap kitten. Can we do it? Kitten. Or you can jump it. Kitten. Hmm, how many times did you clap or jump? Kitten. Oh, if you said two, you were right, yay! Let's continue on with our song. With a meow meow here and a meow meow there. Here a meow, there a meow, everywhere a meow meow. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. 
Good work, everybody. Now let's try another animal and see if we can do it. Here we go. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a chicken, E-I-E-I-O. Let's clap chicken. How many times do we need to clap or jump when we say the word chicken? Let's try it. Chicken. Okay, how many times did you jump or clap? If you said two, chicken, you are right. Good work, let's finish our song. With a bok bok here and a bok bok there. Here a bok, there a bok, everywhere a bok bok. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a pig, E-I-E-I-O. Okay, pig. So let's see if we can either jump or clap the parts of pig. Are you ready? Here we go. Pig. Oh, let's try it again. Ready? Here we go. Pig. Hey, how many times did you jump or clap that time? Let's try pig one time. You're right. We only have one part or one syllable in the word pig. Good work, everybody. All right, let's finish up this song. Here we go. With an oink oink here and an oink oink there. Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink oink. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Wow! Great singing, everyone. And great job with your clapping and jumping of our syllables. Okay, our next game is called I Spy. So listen to the clue and see if you can find what I'm talking about on the paper. And then once you do, I want you to try and find how many syllables there are in that word. Okay, so here's our first clue. I spy with my little eye something that looks like a person but also swims under the sea. Can you guess what that is? Did you find it? All right. So our next puzzle is this. I spy with my little eye something that I use to eat. Well, it has been so much fun learning about syllables with you today. And I want you to try and think about the parts of the words that you hear all day. So if you're reading a story later, oh, maybe you can stop and think about how many parts of a word there are in one of the words that you hear in the story. Let's see if you can give that a try. All right, good job, everybody. And I hope you have a good day.